Let's hear from Mikel Arteta ahead of Arsenal's trip to Brentford this weekend. Here he is. Yeah, it's great. I think it's a sign, obviously, that the, the team is performing well. The team is winning football matches and um, and it's a consequence to that. So thank you to all the people that are involved at the club that contributes on our daily basis to make our job easier and possibly to the players who, at the end of the day, the ones on the field making a difference and help us to, to win the games and, and our supporters. So thank you very much. Unfortunately, the update will be tomorrow when we have the, the last training session, and today is not uh, much to give. Now, when you play on Sunday, it will be the first game of this Europa League fixture against FC Zurich. Are you at all concerned about the loss of momentum um, going into it? It's uh, what happened. It was uh, obviously for a really important reason, and um, we are always available to play. But uh, there are police, there are authorities, and I um, know the people have to make the right decision. And the decision was made, and we have adapted our schedule to be as competitive as possible for Sunday. And uh, like any other team. Looking ahead to the game against, of course, know how challenging it is playing against them. How much of a challenge is it when you can? to their opening six games that they've managed to come back on three occasions mm -hmm. from behind to pick up a point? Well, I think they are a really good side. I think uh, what Thomas and the staff they've done there, uh, not only this year, over the years, I think is remarkable. Um, the way they have performed and the results they got against the top clubs as well, especially at home, um, just sets the tone and uh, what is going to happen on Sunday. And we are very aware of how difficult it's going to be to, to beat them. Thank you. Sky. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Um, we haven't seen you since the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. Just wanted to see if you had a message. Well, that um, I think it's phenomenal what uh, the country has done. Um, I think it shows the level of respect and admiration and, uh, and the legacy that the Queen has left um, in the lives of so many. And um, I think it was very emotional um, and coming from a different country culture to see that reaction it was um, pretty special so I think it tells a lot about um, who she was and, uh, and what is left behind her. Absolutely. Um, congratulations to the manager of the month award. Thank you. Many managers don't want it, they talk about <laughs> the next game curse but it's, it's a reflection isn't it on good recruitment and a good pre-season. It's a reflection of everything and you can have those two things and then you can lose football matches and you're not going to get this award. At the end of the day, it's about being consistent and trying to, to get all the right decisions every single day and then put them as much as possible in football games, which at the end decide the momentum of, of a football club. Obviously, you're going to check on the players with another training session tomorrow. But I want to talk about Emil Smith-Rowe. Mm -hmm. um, there was a video that he sort of had some discomfort in the warm down after Manchester United. Can you give us more on that? And he, he looked visibly upset at some point. Yes, that's been an ongoing issue that uh, he's had. He's had some discomfort in the um, in the growing area. Unfortunately, that it he hasn't had any continuity this this season, and it's something that we are trying to assess, trying to help him as much as possible in any way that we can, um, because we need him fit, we need him available and we need him performing at the best level because he's such an important player for us and unfortunately um, for this period and period last year we haven't had him. Just on the international call-ups, um, no Ben White for England, uh, are you surprised by that and also is there a worry he's playing well at right back but if mm. he's playing right back then Gareth Southgate's overlooking him, uh, overlooking him at centre half? He's played in both positions, sometimes he's been selected, sometimes no. Um, I think to have versatile players that can play at the level that Ben can in both positions, a centre defender and fullback, is something, in my opinion, that any manager wants, especially when you go for a tournament, which a lot of things can happen. Um, that's Gareth's decision and, and his coaching staff. And uh, what I can tell you that whenever Ben gets the call, he will be ready. Just on the Brazilians, because the Brazilian coach has, has, has visited here and he's got a good yeah. relationship with you and Edu, but I was a little bit surprised to see Gabriel Jesus not selected. Uh, have you been given a reason for that? I haven't. Um, what I have to do is try to convince the players that um, they have to continue to do that, put their head down, accept the decisions that are made by the coach or the national team and give them 
even more reasons, if necessary, um, that is so evident that they have to be selected. And that's the way the voice reacted, and is nothing else uh, to comment. Finally, um, Arsene Wenger talking this week with David Dean's book launch. So he hasn't been back to Arsenal since leaving the club. Now, mm. I know you've got a good relationship mm. with him, and he bought you, but I was quite surprised that he's not back. Would you love to see him back at some stage? Because he said he didn't want to be a problem. He wants to stay away from... I would love to. Uh, I think he has explained it. Uh, I think he has every window, every door in this football club open whenever he is ready, whenever he feels it's the right moment to do so, to do it. Um, he knows that from my side. He knows that from many other people at the football club. And, and hopefully that will happen soon because I think that um, it will inspire and a lot of people are going to be so happy to see him back. Because finally, because I just feel like, look at the Brentford game last year, there was COVID issues, injuries. It's a completely different Arsenal now, isn't it? I mean, mm. it's, it's just, is this more Mikel's Arsenal, mm -hmm. isn't it, this season? This is Arsenal Football Club. It's um, everybody's club and everybody's contributing the right way. Obviously, the context has changed, the environment has changed, and uh, now we have to maintain it as it is uh, for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Mikel. Are you well? I'm good, thank you. Um, just going back to Ben White not being in the England team. Um, Gareth Southgate always says that he'll pick players on form, and Ben has clearly been on form for Arsenal this year. As a manager, how much, when you pick a player in your 11, how much is form ahead of trust and what a player has done before? Because when you look at it, Harry Maguire hasn't played for Manchester United yet, he is in the England team. Ben White has played well for Arsenal yet, isn't I don't know. You guys take every time word by word, you know, as well. <laughs> every time we say something, but. Listen, Gareth picks the best team, the best squad that he believes is for now. It doesn't mean that it's going to be the, the case in in November. Uh, the squad that they have available is just incredible, and everything that we can do to help Ben, we are trying to do so. And I think Ben is giving uh, a lot of reasons to be selected, and um, that's all we can do. Of course, one player who was selected as well was Ivan Tony, who you're coming up against on Sunday. Um, a very unusual rise to the top. He was. <coughs> Newcastle then went to Scunthorpe and by Peterborough and Brentford now he's got to where he, where he is. Just give us an idea of how you rate Ivan Tony. I think it's a great story. I think this country has had stories like this in the last few seasons. Uh, the same with Jamie Vardy and, and how that happened. Uh, I think it's extraordinary. Uh, that means that Again, the opportunities are open for everybody. Um, that is just about showing consistency, showing quality and, and belief. It can happen at any age. It's not something that is determined already that if you don't go through that phase in that period of your life, you cannot become a professional player, a top player, an international player. So I think it's a, it's a great thing again. Is it a typical English story? Would it happen in Spain? Uh, I don't know. I cannot think about stories like this that have been after so successful like that, but uh, I don't know, maybe something to think about. What about your opposite number on Sunday, Thomas Frank? I think he's done an incredible job. Um, himself, the coaching staff, and I think the club, the clarity, the philosophy and the vision that they had and how they have executed, how they are constantly evolving it. I think they deserve a lot of a lot of credit for it, uh, what they do. And we all know finally why last week was called off and, and why yesterday mm -hmm. PSV was called off. In a way, were you very relieved that your game at Brentford goes ahead because otherwise it would have been a long time from during yeah. to after the international. We needed to play. We want to play games. Uh, when you look at the schedule after the World Cup especially or what we have to go through October, we need to play the games because if not, it's going to be just uh, impossible. Thank you. OK, so uh, that is a Mikel Arteta in his news conference ahead of the trip to the Brentford Community Stadium. Uh, we will keep monitoring that for you for any other lines that emerge. I talked a bit about certain players. Emil Smith-Rowe um, saying that it's been an ongoing issue, the discomfort in his groin area. He hasn't had continuity this season. They need him fit, available and performing at his best level. He says he's such an important player for us. Um, ben White, obviously, it's a bit of a frustrating pitch for him in terms of England uh, because he hasn't been picked by Gareth Southgate. But on his player, he said to have versatile players is something that any manager wants, especially going into a tournament. Um, that's Gareth's decision. Whenever Ben gets the call, he'll be ready. 
Um, Gareth picks the best team, best squad for now. Doesn't mean that that will be the case in November. Uh, ben is giving a lot of reasons to be selected. Um, quick uh, question from our reporter Michael Briggs on, on Arsene Wenger. He said he would love to see him back at an Arsenal game. Every door is open when he's ready. It will inspire a lot of people. And overall, I, I mentioned as we went to that news conference the, the difference between last year. Arsenal starting off with three defeats from three in the Premier League. This time, overall, across all competitions, six wins in seven. The context has changed. The environment has changed. Have to maintain it for a long time. Don't